everyone. This is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I have a super fun unfold card for you today using the handsomely suited stamp set along with some of the dies from the suit and tie that coordinate with the stamp set. And then I'm using some other dies. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'll have everything on the screen, the item code, as well as the description. And if you're in the USA, you can purchase any of these items directly on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. Okay, so let's just jump right in. It's actually a super simple uh, fun fold card, and I will tell you all the sizes you need as well. So we'll start with Magenta Madness cardstock. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches, and I'm just going to fold this in half. This just gives me my card base, okay? And now we'll be using this in a second. We're going to cut a circle out of this. Now I have a piece of our basic white cardstock. This is cut at five and a quarter by eight inches. So remember that size as well. I'm gonna fold this in half and then I will just set that aside just for a second. Okay, I have the Magenta Madness ink pad. We'll open this up. And out of this stamp set, we're just going to use this bow and I'm going to be making a pink card with it to show you how versatile this stamp set is but I'll also show you an alternate project that's more traditional for those that would like to see that as well. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the bow and I'm just going to stamp it right here. I'm gonna turn this like this. Okay, and I'll tell you why in just a few minutes. And then, then I'm going to use a sentiment from the stamp set, a happy birthday to you and there's a thank you, you're the best. And there's two that you can use specifically for Father's Day. Okay, and I can set those aside. Now I'm going to pull out my Stampin' Cut and Emboss, and the very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to make this a window card. So I'm going to cut down about hmm, a little more than a quarter of an inch, probably about a half of an inch. I'm going to cut the circle out. Here's my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And I'll go ahead and just set this in here. Make sure it's even on both sides. Okay. And I'll put this on here, put my lid on the top, and then I'm going to run this through. Okay. Now, we're going to cut the other items out. So now we have this circle that's cut out. This is layering circles um, set of dies that I used for this. Okay, set that aside for now. Now I'm going to take the bow and a happy birthday to you. And I'm going to grab the bow die. I already have it out. Didn't see it, but I did. And I actually meant to cut this, stamp this on the other paper. Okay, so while we have this, I'm just going to leave my mistakes in. It's not even really a mistake. It's just a different uh, project or color combo that I wanted to do. So now I'm using the Hippo, Hippo and Friends dies, which I love that die set. It coordinates with Hippo Happiness stamp set. It's in the 2020 catalog as well as a 2021 coming out soon. Okay, I'm just gonna run that through. And then I'm going to set this aside just for two seconds, maybe a little bit more because we're going to stamp the bow and maybe we'll see what looks better. Look at how cute that is, you guys. Look at that. It's so awesome. Now I am going to take a piece of our Magenta Madness. This is what I had meant to do originally, but we'll do it now. It's okay. I'm going to stamp that on here. Okay, I wanted to do pink on pink. So you can see the difference in, you know, what it looks like when you use the same ink color on the same cardstock. And if you just do it on white. Okay, and now we need this. We're going to put this through the machine. We're going to be taking this. Now I have this cut at four and a quarter. And that size is kind of, that size is kind of important because we're going to use this stitched, big, long, stretched, re stitched rectangle shape. It's from the um, suit and tie dies. 
and it needs to be this size because uh, it's going to fit on the card better. And I just cut it ahead of time. So four and a quarter um, height. And now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to put the bow tie around it or the bow. And then I'm also going to take this little, it's another long and skinny kind of stitched rectangle. And I'm gonna put that on here. Okay, so we're gonna do all of that at once. And just roll it through. Now we can put this card together. All right, I'm gonna set those aside for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to take this right here. And do you remember this? So normally this would open up like this. This is going to be backwards. We're going to open it like this. Oh, I forgot to do one more thing. Okay, we're gonna do really quick. We're going to cut a collar. I'm sorry, keeping it in. We're gonna cut this basic white cardstock. I'm gonna cut a little collar out using the collar die from Suit and Tie. It just looks like this. So I'm just going to put that on there and then run it through. This will be so worth it. Stick with me. If you're watching to see if you want to watch the whole video, I promise you do because the card is so fun and you can use this idea to make all sorts of projects. That's my trick for getting my dies out. <laughs> I just pop it down. Okay, so remember how this was upside down? We're going to go ahead and we're going to take this stitched long, um, it's like a collar. It's like the where the shirt comes together. I'm sure there's a name for it. I can't think of it at the moment. I'm going to grab my liquid glue adhesive. Well, it's not really adhesive, it's just liquid glue. It's mono, mono multi-purpose. And I'm going to put this on here and I just want it to be flush on the bottom. The top part, it's not going to come all the way to the top. Okay. And now I'm going to take just some adhesive and, or I could have used the liquid glue, but I just grabbed that. And then I'm going to line this up. So this part is flush with the top part. Okay, does it kind of come in together like a shirt? Are you, guys, are you seeing, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Okay, now we're going to take some of our Stampin' Dimensionals, put these on here like that. And there are cute little button dies that are also in this. I feel like I've lost, oh, there it is. Um, there's little um, buttons and I'm gonna show you on the alternate, alternate project. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, so you could use the white buttons or brown buttons or whatever. I'm going to use pearls because I thought it'd be fun to have, you might have a blouse that has pearls as buttons. I think I have had one in the past. I can't remember right now. I probably don't have one in my closet right now, but I thought these would be really fun on here. So I'm making the cute little pearls. You can space them out however you'd like. Um, it's going to be a little 3D-ish. Oh, I grabbed the wrong size pearl. I'm taking that off, putting that one back on. I just want the large ones. There we go. Such a fun card. Oh my goodness gracious. Can't wait till you can see the other one. And sometimes the pearls are like this and then there's, you know, buttons. But I'm just gonna use them all on here. Now, are you ready to see what we're going to do next? It's so exciting. We're gonna turn this over and we're going to add adhesive to this whole side. Okay, now what we're doing, we're going to put this in here and just kind of measure it so it is equal, equal on the top and the bottom and then the left side. You can even close it if you want. Actually, I probably could have closed it. All right, I'm gonna close it because it's easier for me to line it up. All right, so are you thinking, wow, what is she doing? You ready? Isn't that so cute? Okay, I did this a little bit high, but that's okay. I'll show you the alternate pro project. So you probably want to go down just a little bit. I had it a little bit high, but it's a little blouse. 
All right, and now we're going to take this and I'm going to add dimensionals. I don't know why I cut that piece out. I'm going to put that one away. Okay, I'm going to add some dimensionals on here. And I'm going to put this right here. Happy birthday to you. And so we have one, I'm gonna make this a little bit tighter so it closes a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so what a fun card that is a fun little fold for your family and friends. You open this up and it's a little shirt. Okay, I'm gonna give you another idea. So if you wanted to make it a masculine, this is using the paper that coordinates with this suite, but you could also do, I uh, use the Knight of Navy with the Knight of Navy. And then this was a little pocket that's included in the dies. And then we use the buttons on here in another little. So there's an idea and a quick card video for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. I love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.